Howdy guys and welcome to Critic Reviews. I've uploaded another update video which you can find at this annotation. It should give you everything you need to know about my channel and what I plan to do with it going forward. But for now I'll be reviewing an episode which I didn't used to like but recently I found quite a lot to enjoy about it. That episode is Wonderbolt's Academy. So with the quality of season 3 improving, what with episodes like Magic Duel and the always lovable Scootaloo and Sleepless in Ponyville, we reach episode 7, which is Wonderbolt's Academy. In this episode, Rainbow Dash applies to an elite training academy to become a Wonderbolt, truly the next step to accomplish her life goal. But does this episode soar like a jet, or does it just kind of sink like a lead balloon? Well, let's find out in this Fantastic 52 review. So the first thing that comes to the surface for me in this episode is the Wonderbolts as a military force instead of just an ensemble of show ponies, sort of introduced in Secret of My Excess and confirmed in Season 4 with Testing Testing. Though it does bring up a few questions in my mind. If the Wonderbolts are an exclusive flying team, which we've seen as Rainbow Dash was trying to get into them, then why haven't we seen any other Wonderbolts before this point? Are they just now accepting new members into their ranks? Which would mean the Wonderbolts reserves are pretty recent or new thing. Like Twilight said in Testing Testing, the reserves are basically Rainbow's shortcut into the Wonderbolt, where she could more easily attain her dreams, which begs the question of why they didn't introduce the reserves plot thread in this episode. After all, it seems like a natural progression and the best course of action, and it really seemed like what they were leading up to in the first place, but I guess we can't have nice things. Something that was quite surprising about this episode was the introduction of Lightning Dust. Not only because we can see that she's as good as or even better than Rainbow Dash, and she wants to join the Wonderbolts, so she offers a great parallel that shows us Rainbow potentially before she made any friends. Still ultra arrogant and self-centered, the Rainbow Dash that I don't like. What I think would have worked even better is if Lightning Dust was the key giver in Rainbow Falls, instead of ruining Spitfire's character for convenience of the plot, and instead use a character who has already been established to make make reckless decisions. Wanna look at someone who's learned the same lesson again? Just look at Spitfire, who learned in this episode that being reckless isn't the way to go. Push yourself, but learn to steer yourself too or you'll risk hurting others emotionally, or literally. And it was the same callous behaviour in Rainbow Falls that got her into trouble again. So it seems like she just doesn't learn her lesson. Oh, and by the way, this twister line wouldn't have worked with anyone else other than Applejack. I will say though that this episode is not perfect, but it's one of those episodes that has little to no real flaws or none that are actually of any major concern. One of these flaws is the inclusion of the remaining five into the episode. The scenes with Pinky's antics just seems like a major distraction from the plot, and in theory they could have been removed from the episode and nothing would have been different. Though they were the straw that broke the camel's back, as it were, eventually Lightning Dust would have done something else that was even more reckless and potentially even more ponies hurt. If destructive behaviour is rewarded, then the behaviour will only get worse and worse. You need to deal with it head on before such a thing can happen, otherwise people really might get hurt, and that's not a good thing. But I guess you already knew that. But in all honesty, Wonderbolt's Academy is a great episode. The pacing seems natural and the characterization of the ponies featuring in it seems plausible and commendable, and that's saying something for a sim pony like Rainbow Dash who I'd say is hard to balance. Make her too cocky and she's unlikable. Not cocky enough and she's just not the same. But this episode strikes a great balance where we can clearly see she knows where the line is and when it's been crossed. Which she observes with lightning dust. Anyway, that's my review of Wonderbolts Academy. I'm the Ponyville Critic. Thank you for watching.